In this video, what we're gonna talk about is my Pocket 4K Ronin S wireless follow focus gimbal setup. I know that's a mouthful, but I'm gonna talk about this amazing setup. Now, the first thing you're gonna need for this setup is a Tilta half cage or any other cage, I'm guessing, because when you balance this heavy setup on the Ronin S, you're gonna need the Tilt the Half Cage's bottom plate. Now the Tilt the Half Cage really helps out with balancing because the bottom of the cage lets you choose multiple holes to screw your plate in or your camera in. So when balancing a heavy setup like this, the Tilta half cage really helped me out. Now before I had to do some funky configurations just to mount the actual camera on this Ronin S because the camera is wide. But with a Tilta half cage, that problem is solved. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is the Tilta Nucleus Nano N. Now I can't suggest this wireless follow focus enough. If your lenses are smaller photography lenses and you don't have big lenses, definitely take a look at this wireless follow focus. Now there are a lot of expensive wireless follow focus, but why spend that much money if you can get this for around $250? So as you can see here, I have the little knob or the wheel for the wireless follow focus and the actual motor is on top right here connected to a 15 mil carbon fiber uh, rod that I got, which is around six inches right here. Now the cable is running from the motor to the camera via this USB cable right here. This is about one feet of cable. Now I wish I can find a black one that's thin and braided like this one, but I gotta keep looking because it's really throwing off the whole black setup of this camera or this look right here. It's throwing it off, it's just white, right? Anyways, so the cable is running all the way to the camera right here. Now the camera is powering that Nucleus Nano N motor, which is absolutely fantastic because you don't have to worry about carrying around an external battery or a portable battery. The camera will power the Nucleus Nano motor. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is this little handle right here. As you can see, this is by DF Digital Photo and I am gonna be giving you guys the links to pretty much all of this in the comments below. But this right here is versatile as well. This I absolutely need because when I'm holding the gimbal and I need to rest my other hand, it's so much better to have that handle there. Now obviously when I'm using it to follow focus, I'm not really holding it that much, but it's still nice to have that grip there. Cause you can either go like this, or you can either go like this, or you can go like this. So that gives you a lot of options as far as holding the camera. Cause your right hand or right arm will get tired and it's nice to just kinda stretch it out or whatever and then go back at it, right? So this handle is not really an absolutely must, but for me, it just helps me a ton. Cause technically you can mount this wheel right here on the side of the Ronin, so you kinda like this. But the wider the grip, the better it is for me. That's why I have it there. So that's that handle right there. As you can see, it's connected to the bottom of the Ronin, and then the tripod looking thing that comes with Ronin S is connected to that as well. So it's just sandwiched in between. It's nice, it's cheap, and above all, it works. And it has a lot of holes as well, so you can mount other things in there. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is this little clamp up here. This is a 15 mil uh, rod clamp so that I can attach the nano motor on top of the camera because I didn't want it in the bottom of the camera. It was too bottom heavy. And additionally, on the top part, I can just easily remove this top whenever I need to take the Nucleus Nano motor off. So that is pretty much like a quick release. I can just unscrew this and take it off without having to unscrew a lot of stuff at the bottom. So that really helps out a lot. Now this right here is pretty cheap as well. It's just screwed on top of the tilted cage. And then you can see that the rod is connected to it and then the rod's connected to the motor. So that's pretty much one of the reasons why I have it up there because having it down here just causes a lot of problem for me. Now you might have a better chance or a better success than me trying to mount this motor down here. But up here for me, it just works a lot better. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna talk about this setup is this little uh, lens support. Now this is an absolute must, especially if you have your nano motor on top, because if not, whenever you're pulling focus, the lens is gonna go downwards and you can tell it on the back of your screen and on your videos. So for me, I bought a little lens 
uh, lens support right here on Amazon and this little knob right here this screw actually comes with the Ronin S now if you're wondering the Ronin S does come with their own lens support but in my case it was a little bit short so I had to get one from Zhiyun Crane this is the Zhiyun Crane's lens support and I'm just using the DJI Ronin S screw to screw it in the plate here and as you can see it works and it's nice and above all again it's cheap so let's go ahead and talk about some of the cons of this setup here. Well, first off, since you have this USB cable powering the nano motor, the SSD recording is definitely out of the question. Because you're using that USB port, you will not be able to record via the SSD T5 that you have. Another thing that is bad about this setup, it is freaking heavy. I mean, you can still carry it one-handed or whatever, and it's not as heavy as a DJI Ronin or a DJI Ronin 2, but it is a little bit heavier. It's on the heavy side, so just be prepared for that. But with this handle here, like I said, the weight gets distributed a little bit better, so you know I don't mind it as well, but it is heavy. I mean, but then again, I am skinny and I'm not really strong. If I can carry it, you can too, but I'm just saying, be prepared to have that strong weight. You probably can't last too long with this setup, but then again, it is a gimbal setup, but it is still lighter than other gimbal setups out there, especially with a wireless follow focus on it. All right, so the last con that you're gonna encounter with this setup is that you can't put a monitor on it because this HDMI right here, this cable, whatever cable you put on here is gonna yank the camera this way. And like I said earlier, I maxed out as you can see in this adjustment right here, I am maxed out this way. Now I can't go anymore. You can't have any more weight on the left side. It is maxed out right here. You can't adjust this anymore to balance the left and right axis. Unfortunately, you cannot put an HDMI cable to run a monitor. Probably gonna be a deal breaker for some people, but for me, I think I can get away with it because I don't really get a lot of low angle shots because it's difficult to do that also. So pretty much guys, overall, this DJI Ronin S Pocket 4K Nucleus Nano N setup is absolutely amazing. I am gonna be shooting a lot of examples with this. I have a couple of travel plans. So um, I'm gonna be shooting a lot more and I'm gonna show you guys some examples. Now as far as the tilt axis, I can probably add an ND filter in front of it and I'm gonna be fine because the DJI Ronin S's uh, design is really nice. It can I have a little bit more right there. This thing is absolutely amazing. It can, it can take a beating. That's just how amazing this gimbal is. Now I do have the motor on maximum because as you can see, it's a Sigma 1835mm with some rods, with some rings, with an ND filter later on. So, um, but as you can see, it's not shaking. You know, it's steady, it's nice, it's smooth. Um, and honestly, I can't, I can't complain about the DJI Ronin S and it's just, it's truly amazing. All right guys, like always, if you guys have any questions, let me know and I will see you guys later.